What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I do apologize that I haven't made a video in a while. Uh, certain things came in life and I had to take care of those things first. Uh, my daughter is officially going to be two on Wednesday, so we kind of got to prepare for that. Um, it is a fairly windy day, as you guys can tell. 15 to 18 mile winds, but I didn't want that to stop me at all because I am like desperate to catch a fish. But um, hopefully that windsock is working. You know, that's what I bought it for. But uh, here's the main slough that we're going to be checking out right now. It's uh, Sonoma Creek, and it's right off of 37. Once you come over uh, Sears Point, coming from the, the west side over there, to the east is the first bridge. We're gonna check it out. We're gonna throw a couple jerk baits. We're not gonna be fishing on the bottom. I do have a new rod that I recently bought. This is the North Coast Daiwa. Um, from my last video, my steelhead rod that I was fishing for a uh, little, little dinks, um, the tip actually broke, which was uh, pretty sad. And I think I knew why it broke because I was actually pull poking it one day and it probably weakened the tip and bam, it broke. So I bought a new one, just took off the reel and used, used that on the new setup. And uh, where it's, it's, it is a steelhead rod, but I, I think we'll do just fine. We're gonna throw a couple jerk baits around, see if we can get on the uh, stripers. But uh, the tide's coming in, I think at 12.30, it's gonna be high tide around like five. You see how high it gets. The main slew's over there and it comes up all the way over here. So we're gonna give that a shot and um, I'm gonna get it all set up and I'll see you guys on the water. So. Striper. Let's get a striper. Baby, baby. Can we get a striper? No one knows if I'm gonna get one though. Got it, babe? Use the mescals. Use the mescals. There they are. They're on this left side. They're running away from something. The big fishes. Come on, baby. Give me some big boys. Give me a big boy. Oh, there's all the bait fish. Oh, there's one. Keep going. Yeah. Woohoo, babe. I got one. She's going pee, but there you go. Striper on a jerk bait. Pretty darn cool. Don't move on me, don't move. No, no. No, 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 no. There you go, buddy. Stabbed him in the stomach. Nice hook set in the, in the mouth here. Hurry. I gotta get my pliers, maybe. Oh, yeah, gotta get my pliers. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> wow, that was so much easier. Here it is, babe. Hurry, hurry, hurry. It's a monster. You want to touch it, baby? Touch it. Aww. Okay, <laughs> guys can release them. Just how it happened, like I saw a bait fish over there on the left side, and I saw him squirt out, so I'm like, I know there's a striper chasing them. 
There's ah. something over there. I threw it and there's right there again. Because they scattered. And they scattered and that one just boom. Fun. Yeah. Now my lure's stuck in my backpack. <laughs> back to back. Oh, this one's digging, babe. This one's digging. She's a fighter. Oh. 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 Literally right when it hit the water. It's a little bit bigger. I like it. Ah! Okay, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This fish is eating tonight. This fish is eating tonight. Oh my god, you need to stop twisting, bud. Okay, hook is out. Yes, look at mama. Daddy got another one. Right back to back, right when it touched the water. Um, you don't want to see it, baby? She's madder now. She's gorgeous. Leah, touch it. Aww. <laughs> wow. Wow, they liking this jerk bait, this Lucky Craft 110. Wow. Ew. Yeah. He's a fighter, huh? Ew. Here, you release him. Oh, just throw him, though? Yeah. Just like a bass, babe. I know. They have a little bit sharper teeth, but they're not going to do anything. Ah! ah! So you want a picture? A I'm going to give you yeah. a picture. Okay. okay. I haven't Ready? fished in like two years now. I know. Ready? Say jerk bait. Jerk bait. Okay. Release him, babe. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. Here you go. Oh, Jesus. Not <laughs> bad. Oh my God. That's so cool. Right in that corner too, that same corner. If I had my other rod, I would probably be here all day. Yeah. It looks like people like walk this, walk this too. Tide's still coming through, huh? Oh, babe. This is big. This is a... Oh, did he come off? He came off! Oh, my God. That was the, the keeper I wanted. It even pulled drag. Oh my gosh. Right there on that corner too. That same corner. He's not going to come back now. He felt all those hicks. Yeah. She is gone. Man. I have my back to the wind, so hopefully you guys don't hear that at all. You guys just can hear me. Hopefully you guys can hear me over the wind. It, it's honestly really, really fast right now. Wind sucks. I can't stop talking about that because that's all I hear, all I feel. No. Okay. Okay, we fished the main channel for a little bit. I want to try the deep diver one a little bit later. Let's see if that wind kind of dies down, which I doubt. And um, we'll go fish that later. And uh, I'm just gonna keep walking down this little slough because I think it's a little calmer on this side because it, it gets blocked a little bit. So. We're gonna go try this uh, area where the actual cemented tubes are at that feed into the other side. And we're gonna try that area for maybe 10 to 15 minutes, make a couple casts. And this is what, this is gonna be the pull process today. I'm just gonna keep walking back and forth as the tide comes up and see if any of these uh, stripers are coming in. So 
all you guys do is wait and be patient with me and hopefully I get on to some fishes because yesterday I came here and I was fishing on the bottom for like three or four hours nothing I switched to a jerk bait have you guys seen in the previous video at the beginning um, I caught three of them so hopefully it switches uh, up a little bit I did miss an opportunity on a big boy yesterday and it actually did bend the hook on this which is crazy and they are stocked hooks so i wouldn't doubt that would have happened so it's probably a good sign that i do need to switch them out eventually not now but eventually but let's see if there's a striper right here hanging out ready to feed on some uh, bait fish and we'll try to do some jerky motions over here since it's a little bit more calmer Okay, so I fished a little bit of the main slough, Sonoma Creek, and I was fishing this little branch that comes out. Had no bites, no success yet. It's still pretty low tide right now. So all we gotta do is be a little bit more patient and um, keep fishing around that. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm probably gonna keep working my way back and forth in all these areas and see if we can uh, find these stripers. But what I haven't fished, I was underneath that bridge right there so let's get down there make a few casts under there see if we can get on some stripers if not i'm just gonna wait for this tide to come in and i'm just gonna keep working my way back and forth so i'll see you guys over there okay i just made it here but there's a bunch of grass in my way so i can't really cast that way or i'll get completely stuck on it i'm gonna have to keep working way this direction and see if uh there's anything else over there and wow this area is uh pretty muddy and i don't have boots like that so i gotta work my my way around this that kind of looks easy to cross right there let's just stick to the grass okay we made it past that area the wind is definitely stronger on this side <laughs> but it gives me a little bit of opportunity to actually cast in this area so let's just give it a let's give it a try oh almost went to the freeway right there First grass on my first my first cast. Let's make a cast parallel to the grass almost. There we go. So that definitely looks like a bait fish just hanging around the bank. That's not a fish. It's probably hitting mud now. Cast and walk, cast and walk. It's my plan. Plan all day today. Find these big boys. The wind almost blew me in there. bushes yeah I'm not gonna make any more casts after this one if I do even do get my jerk bait back we'll find out oh yeah all right okay, that's done that's out of the way now we're gonna find a dry area and we're gonna switch our bait up okay just switched it up this is another KVD 
this is a, a deep diver and this one suspends to like 11 feet and honestly I don't even know how deep this area is so we're just gonna use this and see what happens see if we can get some fish that are closer to the bottom if they are I think it would take a little bit less effort swimming down there than up closer to the top so we're gonna work this bait all the way back the way we came definitely touching the bottom Casting against the wind, not the business. So I say we work our way back down to the, the love seat and um, make a few casts that direction. Keep working our way back down, see how much the tide went up. Especially in that channel because that's where I seen them blowing up and that's where I caught all mine yesterday. So hopefully you can get on a massive striper. That's uh that's now a bucket list. I caught one off a of lure. I caught multiple off a of lure. Now it's time to catch a monster off a of lure. So hopefully God's on my side today and he gets me one. And I would love to get it on film. That'd be amazing. So be patient with me and I'll meet you guys over there. Okay, we finally made it back to the kiddie pool. No stripers. Looks like a, a nice live well. So let's try this one out on this side. Why she's swimming to the left? I guess my right. And she's tangled. Yeah, she is tangled. It's hot water. It's hot water jerk bait. Got to find that school. Where is that school at? All right, nothing over here. So. I'm probably just gonna make my way back. Okay, finally made it back to the area I honestly really want to fish, and this is like I feel like the best spot. So, let's try this area for a little bit. The tide's coming in, and then um, if nothing happens, I'm gonna take a little break and eat. I haven't got that much action yet. So, oh yeah, that's, that's diving deep in the mud right there. <sighs> yeah, I might have to put the other one back on. Might be a little bit more shallow. But I'm pretty sure it gets a little bit more deeper as um, I get closer to these tubes. walk down this channel a little bit before the tide comes up because it does submerge the bank on this side came over yesterday I didn't get nothing but I'm gonna walk it a little bit and the water was like up to here yesterday I think that was at its peak try to make a few casts in this area see what happens see if there's any uh, monsters lurking waiting for bait to come by 
this is a deep diver one probably not ideal for this little channel but I don't feel like switching it right now so I'll just leave it as it is oh there's a bunch of bait fish right there perfect that might have been the bottom because I caught one of those nasty things again I think Ooh. I don't even want to take it. Oh god, that looks disgusting. Whatever that is. Oh gosh. <laughs> Keeping the heebie jeebies right there, son. That's a striper. That's a striper. Got one, guys. Hell yeah. Decent size one, it feels like. Oh, yeah. Finally. That's a nice one. That is a nice one. Had to walk down the channel to get one. Caught that on the, the deep diver, too. Let's get these pliers out. Nice. First one. First one of the day. So those were little taps from stripers. I thought they were, uh... Okay, oh God, bad idea, bad idea. No, 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 I'm gonna break my tip. So, got some rusty pliers here. And she's off. I'll show you guys a fish right now. I was on that KVD, guys. That Strike King, baby. Came through. She came through. All right, that's untangled. Oh, no, come back here. There we go. That's probably a good like 15 inches, maybe. I do have a measure tape in here too. Let's measure them. Why not? That's just a rough estimate. Probably 14, 15 inches. Oh, yeah. 14 and a half. Cool beans. Hell yeah. That's amazing. Bam. Then I got to get a picture for the girl. So that was a good idea actually coming down here and just throwing down this channel. So thank you, buddy. All right. Thank you for biting, bud. Thank you. She's off. Thanks, bud. All right. Let's try to catch us another one. Okay, the wind died down, so I'm gonna make a little, no. Oh, that's a goner. That is a goner. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go this way because there's a pathway. I'm gonna go find that thing. Yeah, there we go. The pathway right here. That went straight into the bushes over here. Wow, look at this area. I'm gonna bring my stuff over here. Look at that. What is that? Oh my God, something ate something massive over here. Is that a salmon? Holy mothers. Look at that carcass. That looks like a salmon. Oh man, I'm getting my line back in the water. <laughs> okay guys, let's get a closer look at this, this carcass. Man, that thing is massive. I'm pretty sure this is some type of coho or steelhead. You can tell by these little dots at the top. And whatever ate it, ate all the meat besides the skin. And if you guys are a salmon lover, you try not to leave any any meat on the bones, right? <laughs> so you, it's probably a good possibility that it is a salmon. But if you guys do know what this is, please put it in the comments because I honestly don't know myself. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that's a salmon and if they're if they're coming through here that's crazy even if i hook it to one that'd be insane but uh, let's try to get us on another striper because we're not going for any type of uh salmons here <laughs> wow that's that's insane okay so before i fish this area at high tide I just want to show you guys my appreciation. We finally hit 500 subscribers on the channel. 
that's amazing i honestly didn't think that would never happen to my channel but it did and it's honestly because of you guys so thank you guys you guys are definitely noticed by me my family you know and my friends that are watching thank you guys honestly um but uh i did post on facebook and instagram uh when i hit 500 subscribers which was like a month ago and uh if you guys want to add me on there feel free i'll put those links in the description um and uh yeah before i face this area i just want to say thank you guys honestly it's it's a blessing to to hit that number and you know i did not expect it at all but uh let's get this jerk bait back in the water and hopefully i catch you guys once so peace okay this is more like it a lot more deeper than it was earlier. Maybe start right here and then uh, work our way back. Nothing decides to bite. Hopefully something does. Whoa, I'm trying to skip a, a drink bait here, guys. You see that? Wow. I almost succeeded. I was only stuck on one hook. That was pretty um, um, skillsy. There's one. That was a good one, guys. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh my god! Heck yeah! Oh, oh, he got side. You guys, that's a good one. Heck yeah, second one. Heck yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> Super fun, guys. Super fun. She went for it. Come on, everybody. One of the hooks is stuck on this side of its fin. Ow, 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 don't shake yet. There we go. Yeah. It's probably another 15 incher. Say we measure this one too. Why not? We have nothing better else to do. <laughs> Got a lot of time and the tide is still coming up. It's going to be a little bit before it's going to be high tide. Now, where the heck did I put that? Oh, it's right here. So let's lay her down. Just chill. Just chill. Chill, buddy. Chill. And this is another oh it's a inch and a half bigger an inch bigger an inch bigger yeah not a half inch yeah you guys know what i mean it's an inch bigger if it gets bigger like this it's gonna be amazing all right buddy thank you for biting okay so that was sonoma creek Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. That was honestly super fun both days that I came out here to do some striper fishing off a of jerk bait. If you guys get the opportunity to buy a couple jerk baits and a rod and reel, I highly recommend it. Even if you guys are not anglers, you guys can come out here, get a little bit muddy, get a little bit dirty. But um, other than that, you know, I caught a couple fishes on both days and it was my first and second date going for them. And uh, it was super, super fun. So yeah. If you guys did like the video, please subscribe, like the video, and as always, keep it real, keep it real.